Okay, now the third, the objective is imagine that you receive many many gmails and you want just to see them like uh, in a big google sheets table okay so we will get whenever we receive a gmail will be uh, uploaded so it will be inserted in a new row in a google sheets table the sender the subject and yeah, that's it the sender and the subject okay so that you see uh, more or less who who send you like uh, oh, you can see all the emails much faster right and um, okay so here we need I need you I need to enable I need a new API the Google Sheets API well first comes first we come here and I will create this is safe is working successfully workflows add a new workflow and this workflow will be called uh, Gmail to Sheets Udemy English tutorial. Great. First one, it's the Gmail trigger. We are very Gmail on message received, credentials, this one every minute, message received, simplify no, fetch test event. JSON and we want the sender let's see and the subject subject you see here it is a subject and the sender from yeah from value address okay look at this what I told you eh? an array of objects because you could have several to and from yeah you, you could have several from that's weird I thought it was that's how they how that, that's how they specify it great so in the next node um, we need to go to Google Sheets Google Sheets and we don't have a credential we don't have a credential so we need to create a new credential of two and you know well what comes now because it's the we need to come to the enable APIs and services. First, we enable the API of Google Sheets. Google Sheets API. Great. We enable it. Google Sheets API enable. Yes, it's enabled. And now we go back to the credentials. The same credential as usual. We get client ID client ID okay client secret client secret client secret comes goes here client secret sign in with Google this Gmail advanced settings second last option allow everything continue and voila connected great google sheets account no google sheets udemy english tutorial save right um so what i want to do is uh, sheet within a document Google Sheets uh, read rows I want to append a new row which document? I, I don't have any document so I'll create a new document in the Google Drive with the name of Gmail, Gmail received okay so in my drive I create a new sheets called gmail received and the id this is what i want the id okay control c i go back to the here 
from list no by id okay and this is the id of the document because we will always be working on the same google sheets and uh, which sheet could not load the list check your credentials execute node mm, append or update sheet within document document no sheet from list i'm connecting why is not finding it uh, one second now ah, i created the file in another google drive uh, here this is not the wrong, the right sheets I'll, I'll create it again gmails re received udemy english tutorial right now this is the right id okay now let's go back append or update I'll get out and get in again she will do an append update ah now now it's connect now it has refreshed I don't even need to pass the I don't even need to, to pass the ID I can select it from the list because I'm connecting with my Google Drive and which sheet the first sheet and now now I will specify columns column of uh, sender and subject okay I have two columns sender and subject and now I need to be specifying each one of the for example uh, it's column below column too much on you see uh, well how auto map input data to columns set the value for each destination column yeah this is the one value column to match on yeah is an or specify choose from the list or specify an id value of column to match on uh, i don't remember like to be honest you to find the color rope to update doesn't get changed comes too much on mm. i think this is not ne not really necessary i think the only necessary part it's this one values to send so here in the columns in the sender the value will be two right well in this case they are they are always are the same but in the real world the, this value will be changing and the second field will be the subject and the subject will be this one let's test it details column for key mm, column to match on what's the name of the column of the first column because i think they that's the like in which sender in which uh, part mm, will be considered like uh, to count the rows or something like that so i'll specify i'll get the first the value of the first column here value to match on sender yeah it's, it worked let's see the, the google sheet the google sheets yeah here we have it i will send myself another gmail okay i will leave this one you see the sender the subject one moment but the sender is no, i'm not receiving the sender correctly let's see why let's see why sender Mm -hmm. ah, this is perhaps the first value okay yeah this is the first value sender it's the from yeah yeah i think so let's see okay let's see the google sheets yeah now it's the the first value i don't know why i was confused <laughs> and then you can keep adding for each for each uh if you have several columns here for each column 
okay each value right in this case we have only two columns so first column second column right i will i will now send myself a gmail from another gmail account so that you can see that okay i will leave this as active okay i go to the executions and i will now send i will send myself uh, this email okay this email from another gmail account send it's sent and let's see yeah it was okay it was received let's wait one minute or two okay now i didn't do anything eh? it uh, was detected i select this execution i'm in executions now eh? succeeded yes let's see if it's true that we have a, in our google sheets the exactly here we have a different gmail and the subject which is hello there great 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 you see um we could do a lot with this like this is the basics of a lot of things because from the google sheets you could even like perform modifications that then respond to the gmail can you imagine how powerful can be could this be could this be like automated answers things like that anyway this is the um, like um another good example to begin with